Hello and welcome to a Haley Louise Crafts Crochet Tutorial. Today I'll be showing you a different method of working the next row after a chain. This method is fantastic for not only keeping your chain less tight than the rest of your work, but giving it a symmetrical edge that looks nicer and can also be worked into later if needed. This tutorial will be using single crochet, as is mainly used in toy making, but the same principle can be applied to any of your works. So what I'm going to do is just chain a few stitches to start off with. I've chained 9 as the ninth stitch is my turning chain and I want to create a row of 8. Just like normal, we're going to skip the first chain and start into the second chain. However, rather than going into the front of the stitch here, we're going to turn the chain over and pick up only the back bump of the stitch instead, right here. Then we're going to single crochet as normal. Continue crocheting only into the back bump of the stitch right along the row. The only weird bit is the final stitch, and so we're going to grab this part here, which is technically the back bump, but it's a little harder to tell. Now, as you can see, both sides of our work look nearly identical and our work isn't twisting either. I found this method so helpful and it's revolutionized the way I work into my chains. Just a quick note though, if you're trying to make a curl in toy making for hair or for other design choices, this method is not helpful and you'll want to stick to crocheting into the front part of the stitch to achieve that look. But for everything else, I highly recommend this method and have been implementing it into all of my designs where possible since I learned it. Good luck and happy crocheting.